okay guys welcome back to a new video today i'm going to show you guys how we can display a table from a database and then show it inside of a data grid view inside of wpf c sharp okay so let's just dive straight into this now this is going to be a full-on tutorial on how to create a a data table and how to make that connection and then obviously show it i wanted to make this video short and precise but i thought you know what let's just go above and beyond so let's dive straight into this so first things first inside of our example code we're gonna well we're gonna put in a button click and drag this in here there it is make it a bit bigger okay uh the content is gonna be this display table table all right and we're gonna name this as well so let's give this a name um display button okay and the last thing that we need is a data grid view obviously click and drag put it in here for some reason it always takes up the entire screen we don't want that okay and we're gonna name this as well so um, name uh, this is gonna be table view okay all right so before we start and you know uh, do some coding let's jump into Microsoft SQL and let's create some tables once you opened um, Microsoft SQL you did your uh, we're gonna need that connection or your server name uh, later on but I'll show you how we can do that okay so first things first is uh, this is what we're gonna be uh, end up with um, this is obviously gonna be different from everyone else's um, computer but what's really important is when we open the databases we can see that we have two databases uh, one is called business and one was from a school uh, project so we're going to create a new database so we're going to right click on databases and we're going to say new database so once we click on that um, we're going to create a new database and i'm just going to call this employee something like that employees okay i'm going to click on add and then we can see that well, it's been added. Obviously, if we open that and we go into tables, well, there are no tables in here. So we're gonna create a new table. Okay, so we wanna create a new table. We wanna uh, right click on tables. We're gonna say new and then a new table. Right here, we're gonna say, well, all the values. So we're gonna say employee ID. And this is gonna be an int. And we don't allow any else because this is gonna be like a primary key. And then we're gonna say employee name. This is gonna be a Varghar. And then their employee, or I'm gonna call this job title. This is also gonna be a Varghar. Oh, sorry. Varghar. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, we're gonna save this. So, Control S to save this, and it's gonna ask us to well name this name this uh, table. So we're just gonna call this workers. We click on okay, we close this. I don't know anything about uh, Microsoft SQL is we have to refresh this page or this side or whatever. We have to refresh it to in, or in order to see the table. So once we click on refresh here, we can see that, well, we have our table. So once I do a new uh, or a, a query selector, so if I say uh, new connecty, and I'm gonna say, Select everything from workers, and then we run that. For some reason, it's giving me an error. I don't know why. Maybe that is just Microsoft SQL being buggy. Anyways, it works. So um, if this ever happens to you, you can just close off Microsoft SQL and then just restart it and it should be fixed. But anyways, for now, this should be good. Now we have this table. We don't have any well, values inside of this. So we're gonna say insert into workers yeah it's so annoying it's not it isn't showing so we're gonna say insert into workers these values so their id is gonna be one the first uh comma sorry and then uh this is gonna be peter and his job title is gonna be a manager okay once we execute this one row is affected we're gonna do this one more time gonna say two this is gonna be John and he is just gonna be a normal employee there we go gonna execute this as well and now if I say or we do the select statement everything from 
um, workers execute. There we go. Now we have two um, values inside of here. So we have Peter and John, their manager and an employee. Okay, right now we don't need Microsoft SQL anymore. Or oh, wait, wait, wait. We actually do need this. So we're going to close this. Okay, anyways, we're going to close this off. And then we're going to boot it up again. Uh, if any of you guys know a better way of doing this, uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But we need the server name. So this one. Server name. This is obviously going to be different than yours. But just, you know, bear with, uh, do it with me. Control C. Close that. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so first things first is we got to connect a database. So we're going to go into our tools. I'm going to say connect to database. You know, click on that. And then it's going to ask for a server name, which we just copied. I'm going to say Control V. There we go. And the cool thing is that it automatically knows which tables are available. So we obviously got to need the... And for some reason, it isn't showing my workers table. But I'm just going to do this. Okay, anyways, so once we have this, what's really, really important is we need this connection string. So we're going to click on this. We're going to say Control A, Control C, and we're going to need that. Uh, we're going to create a new variable. So we're just going to call this path, and it is a at, and then inside of here, the, the path. All right, um, let's go back into our XAML code. We're going to double click on our button because it's going to make a click event. There we go. So we're going to be using the SQL connection. And we're going to need the client for that. So there it is, system.data.sql client. F uh, installed the latest. Uh, there we go. And this is going to be SQL connect is a new uh, SQL connection. And right here, we're going to path in that, that uh, path. Okay, so once we have this, uh, we're just going to say SQL connect dot open. Then um, we're going to need a SQL adapter. SQL data is a new SQL data adapter. And inside of this, we can put a select statement in here or a query. So we're going to say select everything from workers make sure you spell this right from workers um and then the sql connect okay now obviously we have this uh we're gonna also need a data table so we're gonna say data table again it's not gonna be showing it Data table gonna we we're gonna need the system.data and it's gonna be dt is a new data table we don't need to pass anything in here. Now, once we created this, we're going to say um, SQL data. Don't fill this with the new data that we data table that we just made. OK, now we have this is pretty cool, but we also need to show it inside of our well, WPF. So um, we're going to create a data view. So data view is, uh, is a DV new data view. Uh, we're going to pass in the data table and then what did we name this grid we called it table view so uh, table view dot item source is going to be dv the data view okay this should work now if you press now if you press on play okay if i click on display table there we go so um we got our table from our database. It's really, really cool. Good little skill to have. Um, we have Peter, you know, John. Just the same thing that we saw in SQL, but obviously in WPF. Uh, the cool thing about this is it's really easy to make filters right now because all you have to do is, uh, well, instead of saying select X from, you know, select everything from workers, you can say select name, comma, blah, 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 from workers where employee ID is one and then you get one person. It's really, really cool, really, really effective. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to subscribe and like because more tutorials are on the way.